Hey, today we're going to discuss how to design your own custom DVD and CD covers for free with Pixlr. Pixlr is a tool we use on blank media printing after checkout so that you can upload your own art and customize it. We love using Pixlr because it can be used across all operating systems, and it's a web-based program so you don't have to download anything, it's just right in your browser. So once you've checked out and you're ready to upload your artwork, you'll be taken to Pixlr. Through blank media printing, we have this awesome CD DVD design template to work with so that you can see what your design will actually look like on a CD. Now you can import your background photo through File Open Image. From here, you're going to drag the background layer of your image into the template. Make sure that layer is underneath the template layer. Next, you can add your own custom text. There's loads of fonts, so style it however you want. Text automatically creates its own layer. Layers are great if you're going to make a detailed art piece. You can put each design element on its own layer. That way, if your design has a new change you're not sure about, you can just hide the layer. Layers can also have layer styles. So if you right-click any layer, select Layer Style, you can add drop shadows or inner glows and customize them however you want. Next I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to use a brush tool to paint stars across the top of my DVD design. The brush tool is really cool because it's very customizable. There are also tons of brushes to choose from. I'm going to make my own brush though. And then rather than placing each star separately on my own, I'm going to set a high spacing and select Scatter. Then I just click and drag. There are many other tools you can work with too, like the Blur tool. I'm going to select my background image layer and blur some edges. You can also try adding a gradient layer. When you're finished, make sure you delete the design template layer before saving. Then when you're ready, select File, Save, and then you can start printing. So there it is. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching.